One day I hope to inherit. But maybe I'm not talking about database privileges. Inherit privileges. Let's think of a simple example of how I can demonstrate why this privilege came to be in Oracle 12.2. A typical invoker's rights procedure, and I'm stressing here, not definer's rights, which is your default, invoker's rights. Something like DBMS SQL. It's something where it's a very powerful utility in terms of the functionality it offers. And obviously we wanna allow anyone to run it, but whoever runs it, they should run it with only their privileges. So it's built by someone very powerful. It's written by someone called Sys, but it's run by peasants. It's run by us. We only get to use the privileges of the invoker ourselves. So the typical use case for an invoker's rights routine is it's authored by someone with some power and it's used by people who have very little power. I call it like the Robin Hood concept. You know, we steal from the rich and we give to the poor. That's what most invoker's rights routines are like. But what about the opposite? I might write a routine and I've only got very small privileges. You know, it's written by me, I'm a peasant. I have very little privileges. But what if I ask that to be run by someone with a lot of privileges. Is that risky? It is actually a security risk and that's why we invented the inherit privileges routine. Let's see how it can be a security risk. So here's my demo. I'm gonna use it called Scott. I create a table, I'm gonna grant select on that table to public so anyone can query it. Then I'm gonna write a routine that I've deliberately designed to fail because I'm gonna try hack the DBA database here. I'm gonna hack our system. I know it's gonna fail because it does a one divided by count star on an empty table. It's always gonna return divide by zero. I know that for a fact, but here's how I'm going to hopefully fool the DBA into giving me unlimited access to the database. I phone the DBA. I say, look, I'm having some dramas with my routine. Every time I run it, it does divide by zero. You're a DBA, you've got more power. Can you run it for me and see if it works? He logs on as this admin. He looks at the source and says, yep, fine. It's just a count star, divide by zero. Yep, you're right. This is what we call social engineering. DBAs will typically examine source for new objects. I say, yep, this is a routine I've never seen before. I'll go check out the source. Yep, I can see it's not particularly well coded, but it looks safe and harmless. I run it for the guy, phone him back. Yeah, you're right. It's just a count by zero error. I reconnect to Scott. Now look what I do. I recreate the same routine and I put line five, grant DBA to me. Then I jump back on the phone of the DBA and say, look, I think I've made a fix. Can you just give it another go? And the DBA should at this point re-examine the source, but often they don't, or even it's maybe automated. They run it, they say, yeah, you're still getting the same error. Sorry, it's not fixed. And they send it back to the developer. And you'll pick up the phone and go, yeah, okay, Norris, thanks for trying, not to worry, I'll keep working on it. But of course, inadvertently, guess what roles I've got now? I've just been granted all the DBA roles because someone with enormous power ran my invoker's rights routine. That's what inherit privilege is about. That's how we solve it. Let's revoke DBA from Scott, given that let's get Scott back to an even keel. This is how I can do it. If I revoke inherit privileges on the user sysadmin from public, it means when I run a routine as sysadmin that someone has provided, I will not allow my privileges to be inherited by that operator. Now when I run Scott, I get the error saying I tried to do something that Scott would actually not normally be permitted to do. And that's what this routine is designed to actually save us from. So there's a simple example of why it's gone. Now, really we built this for us as in Inside Oracle because we write most of these invoker's rights kind of routines for people to share. And so we wanted to make sure that if we ever encountered some sort of SQL injection bug or some sort of security flaw, that we would actually be able to protect ourselves from ourselves. That way we can revoke this inherent privileges from all the supplied schemas that we provide inside the database. That forces ourselves to make sure that we were not gonna be caught in these security holes. For backward compatibility reasons, we actually give this privilege to everyone when they upgrade to 12.2. Because it's a new privilege, we have to ensure that the behavior is as it was before. So yes, those security holes actually still are present for your code in 12.2 because we keep the backward compatibility. But obviously now that you know about this privilege, you could now explore doing it for all your invoker's rights routines where appropriate.